we'll move on to other things. So one of the things that I very stupidly forgot when I did this, um, the layer mask was that I didn't want, um, the eyes. I didn't want the whites of the eyes covered. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, use my paintbrush. I am going to go to black to exclude it from the mask. I can do even smaller, small, small. Great. And I'm just going to, I'm going to turn all of these off. I'm just going to paint in the whites of the eyes. There we go. If you are doing a photo with a, um, a toothy smile with a smiling with teeth, this is something you would also need to do for the teeth. Um, you want to exclude that from the skin tones so that it doesn't make the whites look yellow. That's already better. Um, and I'm going to opt to keep her lips a skin tone, like all the skin tone layers so that, um, so that I can use that as the base and then, um, build a color off of that. Um, but now that I made this adjustment to this one layer, I can option drag it back and replace the layer mask each time. So I, once again, do not have to, um, there we go. So once again, I don't have to redo all of that work. I've, I did it once. I'm just going to repeat it on all of the different things. Um, what I can do with the earrings and optionally with the necklace, I'm, I'm going to leave the necklace as is, but if I take the darker layers, I can just once, um, like I can remove the darkest colors off of this. Um, it might not do much for some of them, but. So I can make them look like they're silver by just removing the color. You don't have to do this. Um, or you could choose to like give them a color. Um, but I like that it makes them stand out a little bit more. Um, the lips. Okay. So lips, we're going to go to retouching. I'm going to select the lips. things I'm going to think about. Um, I can always go back in and smooth things over with a paintbrush. So don't get too caught up in the smoothness of this line. You can fix that. In fact, it's better to spend your energy on other things than to worry about that smoothness now. Uh, cause you're going to want to blend it out anyway. Um, it can be hard to determine what the true edge of someone's lips are. Um, if you've ever put on lipstick, you might have had that experience, not knowing exactly where the edge, the, like the proper edge of your lips are for putting on lipstick. If you've never done that, then you're lucky. Um, there we go. So I can zoom out and take a look. It looks a little uneven, so I'll add back in a little bit. But once again, I'm not going to worry about this too much, but notice that I excluded the dark corners. That isn't a part of your lips that is usually like noticeably pink. They of, often that's your skin. Um, so don't worry about these dark corners of her lips. Um, I am going to a, an adjustment layer. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to make an adjustment layer. I'm going to make one for hue and saturation. 
I'm going to drag it up above the black and white because everything under the black and white is going to be black and white. And I'm going to adjust the... Oh, it's the human saturation of nothing. Okay. I'm going to move it somewhere else. So this is the difference between color balance and black and white as your initial adjustment layer. If you use black and white, it's going to have to be above a color. Okay. So I am going to pick, I'm going to go up here above the color colors. I'm going to adjust the hue. I'm going to adjust the saturation. I can make it look like she's wearing lipstick. I can make it look like she's dead. I can make it look like their her lips are just slightly darker than the rest of her skin, which is normal and natural. Um, so I'm going to make it look a little bit like she's got a little bit of lip gloss on there, just a little bit of color. Um, and I'm going to use that paintbrush now. I am going to turn up the size a little bit. I'm going to turn the hardness all the way down and I'm going to kind of blend the edges. I want this on white. I can then color out color out. Okay. Now, if it looks like I went over the line at all, like up here, I can switch that to black and I can exclude that little bit. Okay. You can adjust the lips however you want. Oh, whoops. There we go. That was one I made before. All right. So there we go. Now with that hue and saturation on top, overall, it is going to be affected if I change these layers a bit. Try this. No, that, that ain't it. really struggling. So I've done this. This is my third attempt. This was, this is my second one. This was my first one. I don't, the first one I used a different system, but this one doesn't have the same blending issues. It must be the way that I edited the photo or maybe it's the colors I used. Maybe I need to adjust like this hue a little bit. Um, that actually helped a fair amount. Okay. Well, I'm going to stop fiddling. Although what I did notice is that I do want to take that color out of this. So I am going to find, I'm going to use the paintbrush. I'm going to make it just about the right size. Too small. Nine is fine. I'm gonna do the white. I want it to be black excluded. There we go. For this one, it's easier for me to just. I'm gonna do hard. Dot. Dot. Move on to the next one. Dot. 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 There we go. Little by little, we're looking very natural. Now, let's color the clothes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new layer. I can put it really anywhere. Um, I'm going to fill this layer with a color, any color. I'm going to go with a light purple. 
I'm going to grab my bucket. I'm going to fill my layer. It looks so funny this way. Um, I am going to drag my layer mask. I'm going to hold option, drag my layer mask. I'm going to open that layer mask mask and I'm going to do command I to switch it. And then what I am going to do is I am going to turn on the paintbrush and I'm going to make the brush a lot bigger. And I'm going to erase all this. I'm going to come straight down the sides. Come all the way right up here. I'm going to worry about the details of it after I turn it into to another mode. Um, I'll go in and I'll clean it up. Um, but now you don't have to fiddle with all of these corners that you worked so hard on, the edges that you worked so hard on before. So now I can go to the blending mode. And I can choose whatever one gives me the color I want. This isn't skin tone. This is completely subjective. This can look however you want. This looks like, um, it looks like black and white, but it could be just a gray and white dress. I don't know. Um, whatever color you want it to be, just pick the situation that makes it look the best for you. So soft light makes it look super realistic. Overlay makes it look pretty bright, but that's okay. I think I like soft light the best. Um, but color or saturation or hue, whatever, it's if you want it to be green, even though you picked purple and if you like this, you go for it. But I'm gonna pick soft light. And now that I can see better, I'm going to make my brush smaller and I am going to play around with the edge here. I can't entirely tell where the edge of her dress is, but I'm just going to make a good guess. Okay. I'm in the layer mask, right? And I'm going to delete some of the edge here. I think it's right there. Great. Super low effort. We're looking good. This is a perfectly acceptable finished product. Although I would encourage you to um, do hair. So for that, you can um, add another brown. You can add a darker brown. You can use your source for it. I'm just going to quick do that right now. Okay. So what I just did there is I selected her whole face and body. Um, and now I can go back up to the hair layer mask and because they're selected, this space that is not selected is not going to be affected by what I do. So I'm going to go to paintbrush and I am going to add, I'm going to make it super big and I'm going to add to the black. So this pro provides me some protection against painting outside the lines. So if you watch down here, if I go like this, it's not taking out the hair because it's only painting in the area that I have selected. Now I have just the hair here. Okay. So now I'm down, I'm going to command D to deselect. And this hair color can be changed a little bit. 
So I am going to pick from my color references. I am going to eye for eyedropper. Pick a, I mean it's basically black. Her hair looks very black in both these pictures. I could bring up a picture of someone else that that might be a dark brown. Um, I could pay, pull up a picture of someone else with slightly less dark hair. Um, but I'll, I'll roll with this. So now this I can do G or bucket and pour it in. And I've got this overlay. Um, I can, it's currently set to darken, but I can set it to whatever works best for what I'm doing. So these are too dark. Darker color versus darken are pretty similar. Definitely don't want to lighten. Um, overlay is a little too harsh. Soft light's a little too harsh. Although I could do either one of those, like soft light and turn the opacity down. Oh, that has, yeah. Right? I could adjust it that way. Or I could go back in and see if one of them does it the way I want to. So saturation is a good one. I think that looks pretty natural. Um, but just for fun, let's check out soft light in here versus this. Um, I think I like it the other way. So I'm going to leave it like this. Um, I could play around all day with the skin, um, but you know what? I'm not going to, I'm not going to stress myself about it. Um, the one thing that I would encourage you to do is take a second and, um, so once again, if you want to add a background layer, I can do a new layer. I'm going to put it down here under the shirt. Um, I'm going to pick a color, um, like let's say this like mossy, sagey green. Um, I'm going to fill this layer with that. Once again, it looks hilarious. Um, I'm going to set it to color burn. Now I'm not affecting this forever. I'm just temporarily affecting this because I'm going to pull this layer mask down. Option, drag to layer eight. I am going to command I invert it. And then I am going to go in and fix things up with the paintbrush. I am going to add the whites of the eyes. There we go. And I am going to remove the dress from that. There we go. Great. And now I've got this complete picture. It looks like it could be a school photo or something else. I don't know. Um, it is colorized. It is not perfect, but that is okay. Um, it still looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with this. So this is something that's the, you know, the quality that I'm looking for and what you submit. Um, do I need it to be perfect? Absolutely not. Um, do I need you to have put in an effort? Absolutely. Yes. Um, I would like her to look natural but this doesn't have to look like it was originally a color photo we all know it wasn't 
So just practice these skills, try your best, and I'm very excited to see what you, what you do.